<laughs> cool trail, right? Utah. We are currently at the Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park. Van is right here. I forgot to say that, but we named the van Marshmallow. Let's go check out the sand dunes. <laughs> We found our campsite for tonight. This is where we're camping. And this is the view. Well, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye. this is something I wanted to talk about in this vlog because uh, we're just trying to show our travels and our adventures and keep things nice and airy and light and funny but uh, bad things happen and we also want to keep it real we did almost get into a car accident this morning so we were leaving Virgin Utah and we're heading towards Kanab and we're driving through uh, one of these little towns in the middle of nowhere where the speed limit is 35 to 45 miles an hour. So we're in the right lane going with the speed limit. And then all of a sudden, this older couple pulls right in front of us. And to make things worse is that they looked like they were trying to get into the left lane. So we swerved to the right a little bit. And then cha they changed their mind all of a sudden and then pulled back into the right lane we literally were able to stop the car at the last minute. Uh, the only thing uh, that got damaged, because obviously when we pressed the brakes so abruptly, all the things came flying in the van. So the two drawers that we have in the back in the, like a bed area came out to the middle of the van. And unfortunately these hinges are broken now. So it's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. This is something we can fix. I think the, to make the long story short, I think um, what surprised us the most is the reaction of the couple that was driving the car that almost caused the accident. When we pulled to the stoplights and we pulled right next to them, we looked over, instead of being apologetic about the whole situation and saying sorry, they flipped us off. And I think that's what surprised us the most because you would think they were older you would think wiser um and there was no need for that kind of us behavior and like i said these things happen the van is okay we are okay uh considering the alternative you know hinges on the drawers that need to be fixed that's nothing like we are grateful this ended the way it did my message is to be nicer to each other, more understanding, and yeah, let's go back to the fun part of this vlog. There's so many deer out here. <laughs> Now 
never boring over here. Okay, let's see if we can do this. like we're gonna need some help and we're gonna have to get pulled out so we were camping at the still at the sand dunes and the, the sand is pretty soft and we thought we got it but um, I guess not let's see Steve says he's doing a walk of shame we're gonna have to ask someone for help. Thankfully, this there is a lot of people that are camping alongside this road. Let's go. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> fun yeah a little excitement for the morning <laughs> thanks Riley but if yeah you're watching this I just want to say that yeah sometimes people do suck like the whole almost getting into an accident thing but there are also so many cool people um, the guy his name was Riley he had he just came right away to pull us out and um, he, we wanted to give him 20 bucks just you know just as a gesture to, for helping us out and he wouldn't take our money and not only that he also gave us a rope yeah for, the, stuff for the future which we probably should have had yeah. in the first place but uh, yeah super nice guy I dare you to go all the way. No, I'm good. All the way, touch nope. the wall. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just pulled up to our Iowa Lander location to camp for the night, but we first need to go through this area, and then there's a little uneven area going down to the river. The spot is really nice, but we already got stuck once today. Are you gonna risk it? Sure, why not? Okay. It can happen well. twice in a day. Well, let's see. And we made it. That was easy. It's cold, but we have a nice spot right on the river. And no one here again, <laughs> we by ourselves. Yeah, we scored. So as you can see back there and here, we have stuff everywhere. Today was our chore day. So we did groceries, laundry, uh, wash the car, fill up the diesel, fill up the water tank, all the fun stuff. So we have to organize the van, cook dinner and call it a day. But tomorrow we're going to Idaho. Uh, we, uh, there's a friend of mine, of ours, that we go riding with, uh, that is a dist distributor for an electric motorcycle company, and he brought a motorcycle for this one to ride, so... We'll see. <laughs> and I got my bike, so we're gonna link up with them in Idaho, and hang out there. It's also a good chance to head north right now, because there's a big window in the weather, uh, before things start getting a little... Uh, snowy and nastier out there. Uh, it'd be nice to just see Yellowstone before yes. it's covered in, you know, ba basically buried in snow. So it's going to be pretty nice. We should have the whole place to ourselves. So psyched. And then we'll hit up Moab and stuff on the way back down. So, uh, yeah. So I guess we'll see you from Idaho.